Hi everybody, welcome back to Harry John's YouTube channel. So it's another home brewing video today. Uh, so I just wanted to give a quick update on all the wine that I had brewing. Uh, so I've brought them all down. Uh, so yeah, hope you enjoy seeing the progress these are making. Brilliant. So I'll start with this one, a banana wine. So I'll try and get this in the light so you can see. So this one, at first, I was really worried because it was my first attempt and there was lots of banana bits which you can see in the yeast cake at the bottom it's uh, it's all sank down so don't worry too much about these bits at the top because I've agitated this by bringing it downstairs these are uh, all fermented in a nice room upstairs so uh, when I've brought it downstairs and cleaned, it, cleaned some dust off it um, <clears throat> some of these banana parts have risen again to the surface but I have no doubt that they're going to drop down again so it's still bubbling away really nicely so I'm really happy with this I've uh, taken the lid off all of these at some point in the last couple of weeks and they all smell absolutely gorgeous so this one's the banana wine uh, this one here, I'll double check rhubarb and apple, smells gorgeous and then finally plum and apple so, <clears throat> all of them smell absolutely gorgeous. I'm really impressed with these. It's the first time I've done wine, and I'm quite confident that these are going to come out nicely. The one I thought was going to possibly be um, the worst tasting was the plum and apple, as I recently made some uh, plum cider, and it was far too strong, uh, too tart, I believe. Yeah, um, <clears throat> the guy at the home brew shop said you can do it, and it worked. And uh, yeah, it's an uh, alcoholic drink, and it works, it does its thing, but the taste wasn't for me really. I think I've got some strawberry cider brewing upstairs as well, strawberry and apple, so I think that might be more to my taste than the, uh, the plum one, but nonetheless... Um, <clears throat> I believe plum is better suited in a wine and from the smell of this, oh beautiful, it's been fermenting now for, oops sorry, so I did this on the 6th of the 9th 2016, uh, today is the 8th of the, it's 8th of November now yeah, so nearly two months, uh, sorry no just over two months, <laughs> uh, but it's been Demi John's since the 14th of the 9th. So, <clears throat> this isn't far from done. They say it only takes two months for it to be um, <clears throat> completely finished, for the fermentation to have ended. Um, now, I'm not adding any candle tablets to this. For the cider to tell when it's done, if you can see quite clearly through to the other side, then... Yeah, it's pretty much finished. Um, I don't know if this holds true with wine as well, but, I mean, it's smelling gorgeous. These are Christmas presents, so I'm happy for these to keep on going well into December before I start bottling them. So, yeah, uh, they smell great. <clears throat> so that one's, yeah, it's pretty much two months, but I'm going to keep it going until these bubbles stop, because one thing I've noticed about wine... The airlocks are still going strong. Um, you can still see bubbles from the fermentation, the sugar and the yeast reacting together. So, until any of that stops, I'm just going to let this keep on running. I don't think it can do any harm at all. <clears throat> Brilliant. So, I think the rhubarb and apple, this one is smelling absolutely gorgeous. This is the best out of all of them. I thought the banana was going to be the nicest, um, but no, it's it's definitely the rhubarb and apple, and this is literally apples from my neighbours and one of my students' gardens, and rhubarb from out of the garden, right out there at the bottom. <clears throat> Came with the house um, that we're renting, and yeah, I'm really, really happy. This is going to be absolutely gorgeous. I'm probably, if I'm going to keep any a bottle of any of these wines, if I don't give them out as gifts, it's going to be this one. Same date for this. It was started on the 7th of the 9th. Demi John on the 14th. So this one's almost been going for two months now in a Demi John. So yeah, this one, it's probably 
The actual, the plum one is the clearest out of all of them, which is bizarre because my cider hardly cleared up at all. But <clears throat> yeah, so it's going along really nicely. Let's put these to one side. And here we are, finally, the banana wine. So yeah, this one's cleared up. Possibly uh, almost as good as the plum, plum one, yes, that's it. I mean, this one smells brilliant. I can't wait to taste this. It's got some really nice banana, like hints of banana in it. It's mostly water. These ones are apple juice, literally they're just from apples. I didn't think, I don't think I added any water to these. This one is a more traditional wine, so it's, I think it was, gosh, I have a two or four kilograms of bananas. Check out the video, I've done a video from this from start to finish. Boiled up in water, then drained, and then I think I added lots more water and lots more sugar to this one. It's a more original way of doing wine, I believe. I just wanted to use the apple juice that I had, kind of spare to use for wine instead of cider. So yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how all three of these come out. <coughs> so, banana wine. This one, the 20th of the 9th, Demijohn on the 25th. So yeah, you can see all the, the bits on the bottom that easily stirred up in this one because I don't think I drained it off as well as I should have when I, uh, when I started creating this one. But yeah, so they're all, they've almost all gone for two months. But I'm just going to let it go until the bubbles in all of them have pretty much stopped and the airlocks have stopped doing anything. And all three of them are still bubbling away very nicely. So, yeah, I should have some happy, uh, what's the name? <laughs> I should have some very happy Christmas family members this year when they receive some bottles of wine for as a gift. So, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, any questions, uh, please feel free to uh, ask them in the comments section below. <coughs> And I'll try and get back to you. So yeah, have a great day people. Speak to you soon.